Hey designer, Alex here, welcome to the channel and welcome to this new video series here on the channel which is all about designer money. Over the next 52 weeks we are going to explore how can we as designers make money. We are going to explore some more obvious ways and some ways you probably didn't think about and probably didn't take into consideration. So every single Friday you can check back here on the channel, there's going to be a new way and a new method for you to make money as a designer. If you don't like this week's method, Method, you can check back next week and make sure to hit that subscribe button not to miss out and you can also turn on those bell notification icons so that you're going to get notified every Friday when I launch a new video. This is the insert for my course 101 ways to make money as a designer and you can check it out by going to my membership. A link is going to be down in the description below. You can check out my membership for all of my courses, all of my design products, practice files for these YouTube videos, private access to the Facebook group, mentorship and much more. So if you're interested, make sure to check out. A link is going to be in the description below. Now without any further ado, let's check out this week's method. This week's tip is to find a retainer client. Unlike your regular clients, when you work with them and you finish the work and that's basically it, with your retainer client, you are actually agreeing on the time slot. That's either, for example, two hours per week or two days per week or one day per week, or let's say three days per week for the next six months. And that's actually that retainer part. Client is going to pay you for that amount of time and for that amount of work, but you're free to do other work, which is a great way if you want to spread out your work, if you don't want to get burnt out and you don't want to get bored with just having one single client, you can find many retainer clients and simply work with them on a regular basis for a longer period of time. For example, you can book your retainer client for the next six months and approach them with this approach. Uh, I know that you need all of this stuff, but you don't need it right away. For example, you just need to launch this website to show off your MVP. And then when you get funded, we are going to uh, approach the next phase and simply polish up this website more and include all of this other additional information, which is not mandatory at the MVP stage, for example. And then you can approach to them and say, okay, this week we are going to work just two days per week, next week and next week we are going to do the same. But after one month we can, for example, do three days a week. So you're actually booking uh, your job long term, but you're freeing up your time to reach out to other potential clients and to get uh, hired by other potential clients by simply uh, doing this retainer work. I know many designers who are just doing retainer clients. So for example, during one week period, they have four different clients and they have spread out their work for the next six months, for example. That way, you're not running the risk of losing your clients, uh, about uh, running the risk of losing your job and not having uh, enough clients and not having enough work to sustain yourself and your family, you're going to simply spread out that work for the next six months, for example, by just doing that particular work for that particular client, let's say one day per week or two days per week or something like that. We also had clients in the past who needed social media graphics done, for example, and we did that just two hours, one day per week for the next three months. So that's really a beauty of these retainer clients because you can have as many of them as you want. You simply have to organize your work and communicate clearly with each and every retainer client that they, do, they cannot reach out to you. For example, if you agreed on Wednesday, two hours on Wednesday, they cannot reach out to you and ask for work on Friday. They have to wait for those two hours on Wednesday. You can always adjust and change, but make sure when you do, make sure to adjust and change your price as well, because it's not the same to work with the retainer client one day per week, and then they simply want a lot more done from you, let's say four days per week, then you have to adjust your pricing because you have to adjust your time and you have to adjust the budget for that particular project. So I would highly recommend for you to find some retainer clients. Retainer clients can be big and small. These projects can last, for example, uh, anywhere between from one month to two years or five years. 
it doesn't really matter just make sure to price it correctly you can price it as you go so for example you can take breaks with your retainer clients because at some point they will not need your design services but you can simply keep them by saying to them okay we are going to make a break but you have me as your designer simply reach out back to me and we will continue where we left off when you need actual design work done Thank you for watching this video, I really hope you found some value in it, if you did make sure to press that like button, I upload new videos here on the channel every single week, so if you like this one make sure to subscribe and make sure to check back next Friday when I upload a new video here to the designer money playlist. If you don't like this one check back next week and see if that one is a good fit for you and also don't forget to check out my membership link is going to be down in the description below if you want to get all of my courses all of my design products all of my practice files for these youtube videos private access to the facebook group mentorship and much much more so thank you once again for watching and i'll see you in the next one take care